guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you in the United States had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. I sure did as well spend some quality time with my family, spent time with my brothers and sisters, my parents, spent time with my future in-laws, with my fiance as well as the weekend. And that is why this video is a little bit later, spent some quality time with the family, because normally after a Packers game, I will get the, my recap out the day after, but not doing that, didn't do that because of holidays and it's going to just get busier. I might even make a couple of recaps as well because, or they'd be very late due to Christmas coming up as well. But man, what a game this was. I watched the entire thing because I was just going to watch the first half and then spend time with family. I thought the Packers were going to get absolutely blown out. But no, instead, the Green Bay Packers looked fantastic against the Detroit Lions as they beat the Lions 29 to 22 off of Jordan Love and the defense forcing, forcing turnovers and forcing the Lions to absolutely stink on fourth down. Before we get into the stats, commentary, and my winners and losers from the game, I just want to ask, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Packers content and Brewers content as well. I've been meaning to work on Brewers videos. I just, it's been really, really busy for me recently. But we'll get back in back here real soon. So let's go ahead and get started with the scoring output for the game started with a 10 yard pass from Jordan Love to Jaden Reed, which was an absolute dot that fit into double coverage for a 10 yard touchdown. Andrew Carlson made the extra point for a 7 0 Green Bay lead. Detroit then went right down the field, got a touchdown 7 6 after the uh, extra point missed. And then Tucker Kraft had a 9 yard touchdown pass from Jordan Love for a 14 6 Green Bay lead. And then Jonathan Owens, who I gave a lot of crap for the previous week, had a fumble return touchdown after a Rashawn Gary strip sack for a 20-6 Green Bay lead after a Carlson miss. Second quarter, Carlson kicked a 43-yard field goal for a 23-6 Green Bay lead. Third quarter, David Montgomery had a 6-yard touchdown down run for a 23-14 Green Bay lead. Jordan Love then hit Christian Watson on a beautiful 16-yard touchdown pass, but a two-point conversion failed for a 29-14 Green Bay lead. Then with like under a minute left, the Lions got a garbage time touchdown from, to Josh Reynolds from Jared Goff. And also got a two-point conversion for a 29-22 victory. So you look at the box score. Jordan Love, absolutely fantastic. 22 for 32, 268 yards, three touchdowns. Did not get sacked once. And a rating of 125.5. Ground game wasn't really there. AJ Dillon 14 for 43 and Love 3 for 39. Reed has 16 yards and two end rounds as well. But... What we really want to see is this passing game. Christian Watson had a fantastic game after I called him out a couple weeks ago. Five for 94 yards and a touchdown. First play of the game was a 53-yard bomb in that he made a really nice adjustment to and made the contested catch. Malik Heath, the undrafted rookie, stepped up in absence of Dontavian Wicks. Four for 46, caught all four targets. Really good for him. A.J. Dillon, three for 38. Dodge, three for 37. Jaden Reed, 4 for 35 and a touchdown. And Tucker Craft, 2 for 15 yards and a touchdown as well. Three fumbles were caused by the Packers. Gary covered one. Owens covered one for a touchdown. And Carl Brooks also recovered one. Jonathan Owens also led us in tackles with 12 total. Also had a tackle for loss. McDuffie had 11 total tackles. Anthony Johnson Jr. had 8 total tackles. Rashawn Gary had 3 sacks, which is incredible. Tax loss, Owens had one, Lucas Van Ness had one, Johnson Jr. had a pass breakup, Preston Smith had a pass breakup, had a lot of great pressures there. T.B. Harrison Gary had three, Preston one, Van Ness two, and Igbari two, Brooks one, Kenny Clark two, had a lot of good pressures there as well. Devontae White had one as well. We are, we made Jared Goff's life a living hell as a pass rush. They were getting penetration against a really, really dang good O-line there, so good job on the Packers defense there. Uh, no interceptions, no kick returns, no punt returns. Uh, Carlson, one for two on field goals, and two for three extra points. And Whelan had a pr some pretty decent punts as well. All four were inside the 20 as well. But who I want to really say, roll into our shadows right now, Jordan Love. Another week where he played fantastic. Played all starters in the Rams game, played well against the Rams, played well against the Steelers. Played well against the Chargers last week. And now he has played well against the Lions. Packers are looking a little frisky right now with Jordan Love continuing to show improvement. He has been fantastic in this stretch. And he's really coming into his own here real soon. 
Uh, Christian Watson, after all the crap we've been giving him about not finding balls, not getting stuff, he had a fantastic game. Good on you, man, for doing that. Malik Keith stepped up in place of Dontavian Wicks, so good for him. And Tucker Craft also had a pretty solid game as well, especially blocking. He was pretty good. And for injured Luke Musgrave, who lacerated his kidney. And another guy, shout out, Rashawn frickin' Gary. He's been getting good pressure all year, but he finally was able to get sacks. He caused so, so many fumbles, and he was just fantastic in this game. Really showing why the Packers got a steal when they paid on that contract. Jonathan Owens, one shout out as well. Had a really good bounce back game after giving up that 54-yard touchdown last week. And so, yeah, fantastic there. A couple guys I want to keep an eye on. Anders Carlson. He has been struggling recently, and that's not a really good sign for a team where you need a consistent kicker. And Carlson started you out really, really hot, but he has really struggled as of late. And another guy, John Rudin Jr., again, really, really struggling. Sean Ryan has been outperforming him. I don't know why the Packers aren't playing Sean Ryan more because he has been good when he's been in there. So hopefully they make that change here soon. But if you take a look at our schedule... We have the Chiefs up next. Two, three, four weeks ago, I thought we would have been murdered. But now, I think we have a shot to win that. Now, I don't think we actually are going to win it because I think the Chiefs' defense is good and it will hold us down, but we can make that game competitive. And then we have the Giants, who are beatable, the Buccaneers, who are beatable, the Panthers, who just fired our head coach, who are a dumpster fire, the Vikings, who are beatable, and the Bears, who are beatable. The Packers can get on a run here at the end of the year and really make some people uncomfortable with playoffs. And before we go as well, let's go take a look at stats. Jordan Love, close to 2,600 yards on the season. 19 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. A.J. Dillon, just on, under 500 yards rushing. Only has one rushing touchdown. Only six rushing touchdowns total for the year. Jaden Reed has 36 receptions for almost 500 yards. Five touchdowns. Dobbs, 41 for 433. Seven touchdowns. Watson, 21 for 351 and three touchdowns as well. Defense total tackles. Quay Walker, 79. McDuffie, 67 as well. Sacks. Rashawn Gary is now up to eight and a half sacks on the year. Really having a really good year as well. So overall, very, very happy with that performance. I cannot believe the Packers beat the Lions on Thanksgiving. We won three of our last four, and we can make a run here. But you also got to wonder, if we just win these two games, how much different we could be as a team, even against the Falcons too. Like those three games, easily winnable. That's all I got to say here. I'm really, really impressed with the Packers. I think we're making great, great progress. And it's just kind of nice also to have a better record than the Jets. But until next time, I'll be back tomorrow with my NFL Power Rankings and hopefully Wednesday with my NFL Predictions as well. That will be about all I can get to as I am out of town again on the weekend. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe for the channel. And I'll see you again very, very soon.